Things are changing very quickly, and we've been in contact with KDVR. This is the Fox affiliate here in Denver, who we work very closely with. And the reporter on the scene there with the FBI says an agent came up to them and told them there is no one in custody that the suspect is dead. Again, that is according to the local Fox affiliate, KDVR. Fox News Channel is attempting right now to independently confirm that piece of very important information. But as you did mention, the FBI field office here in Denver has tweeted within the last few minutes an update saying in all caps that there is no longer a threat to the community. Earlier, what they had said that there was a credible threat in the form of 18-year-old Sol Pais from Miami, Florida, who again, they say the Miami field office had warned them on Monday evening that there was somebody who was traveling here to Colorado that they might need to know about. Apparently, when she landed, according to the FBI here in Denver, once she landed, she managed to make it to a store and acquire some sort of shotgun and ammunition and then disappeared into the foothills um, here, the, the base of the mountains here in Denver. Whenever you see mountains uh, in Denver, the foothills there are like the base of the base. Well, if you go an hour and a half west at, into Mount, the Mount Evans Alicia, area, that I base, need to cut that in. is where the Alicia, FBI says. Alicia, can you hear me? I, I need go to ahead. get in with yes. what we've just confirmed. So this woman that they have been looking for, this 18-year-old Sol Pais, has died. She's deceased. We don't have a lot of detail on this, uh, but we can confirm according to authorities there in Denver, per law enforcement source, the Columbine suspect woman is dead, unclear if that wound was self-inflicted. We are still on the story. This had dozens of schools, Alicia, as we know from our own reporting, uh, shutting their doors today. Uh, the credibility of her threats was something that not only the FBI was getting the word out about, but parents and schools other people were told to take this seriously, to be on the lookout for this woman. They were putting out detailed information about what to do if you saw her. Uh, this has been something that has been widespread, and now we can confirm that Sol Pais is dead. I want to give it back to you, Alicia, as I know you're doing further reporting on the ground there in Denver. Yes, and, and Harris, you mentioned dozens of schools. In fact, it was hundreds of schools. Uh, more than 60% of the student population in the state of Colorado did not go to school today because all of those schools were closed, because this was considered such a credible threat. And I can tell you, I. I was there uh, in, on April 20th, 1999, at Columbine High School when the massacre took place. Mm. Every year since, as we get closer to April 20th, there are threats on Columbine High School and in the schools in the Denver metro area. That is something that we have become accustomed to. So yesterday, when we started to hear that there were threats, that there was a lockout at the school, Honestly, it didn't come as much as a surprise because for the past 20 years, we have heard that. Then things started to change. More information was coming in from the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office, from the Jefferson County Schools, uh, and then from the FBI. When the FBI put up her photo and explained this as a credible threat and the recommendation that the schools in the entire area go on lockout, mm -hmm. that was significant. Then everything started to change, and then clearly, as you know, there was this massive manhunt that was underway between federal, state, and local authorities here. I have kids in the Denver Metro School area. They were very concerned, very worried. Um, sure. And my niece, who goes to a school about an hour from here, she was scared to have her mom go to work. So to, it's hard to overemphasize the impact that this sort of thing has on the community here in Colorado. Well, I'm so glad you, you have the detail of the percentage, 60 percent of public schools, you mm -hmm. said, across the state. Uh, were closed today. And, and, you know, police had said an abundance of caution, but we do know, Alicia, that there were specific things that people were being told to do if they saw this woman. Thank you. I, I want to come back to you as the news warrants on this. 